Hello and welcome to another episode of the Spectrum's Worst Games. As you can see on the screen, we're looking at a game from 1989 today called Ninja Massacre. Um, there's the uh, there's the inlay card down the bottom left there for you to admire. And going by the review I've read, that that might be what you want to focus on for the next sort of 10 minutes of this gameplay because I've heard it's not very great. Um, to show you what I mean, um, this is the review that I've managed to pull up from your Sinclair uh, back in 1989. Um, as you can see, it was um, a 199 release. Uh, I haven't seen the inlay for this one. Uh, we have. It's on the other uh, on the other screen. But no doubt it'll say something like the greatest gauntlet type game since the Jurassic Age, says previously unknown cousin Archibald Darling. In fact, it's a very low grade gauntlet ripoff with features unashamedly. Nicked from one of the most, uh, from most of the cleverer variations of that game, Eagle's Nest, and so on. It's perfectly well programmed, but then it would be, as it's been done, three million four hundred and fifty thousand times before, utterly wretched. Two out of ten. Uh, I looked into it, by the way. Uh, the only other review I could find uh, that gave it a figure was in Crash Magazine, uh, which gave it forty-five percent. Um, micro hobby. Uh, reviewed it in Spain as well, but as my Spanish isn't great, unfortunately I wasn't able to establish whether they liked it or not. Um, the low percentage bar didn't seem to indicate that they did. Anyway, uh, the game, as I said, is released by Codemasters back in 1989. It was uh, written by Adam Waring, Neil Adamson and David Whittaker. Uh, the cover art um, for the inlay, uh, was it the inlay or was that the screen art? Just checking now. Uh, yes, it was the inlay art was created by Nigel Fletcher, and you would have seen this on compilations Quattro Combat, Smash 16, and the CD Games Pack, all released, of course, by Codemasters. Uh, there were versions of this also that came out on the Amstrad, uh, CPC, and the Commodore 64. And you could, if you found a friend willing to play this game with you, uh, they'd be able to play it alongside. Anyway, let's get into the game. Uh, let's quickly load it up. Right now, because it's Codemasters and because I've loaded the 128 version, um, we should be in for, uh, in for quite a treat in regards to music. So, oh, okay. That's actually not that good. Okay, let's get into the controls. Um, standard controls, of course. For me, it's always QA, OP, and space with M as uh, anything else that's required. So in this case, it's a magic key. Um, now, I'm sure I remember the... Ah, there we go. Now, hopefully that's not too loud. I'm not going to still hear me over the music. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's sort of typical Codemasters fare. Sounds pretty good, actually. Anyway, let's get into the music. Enter the music into the game even. I recognise that thing from somewhere. I think that's from the next single or something. Right, okay. Ninja Simulator. That like Ninja Massacre even. I'm not sure I think he's a ninja because he looks like white for a start. Not just in traditional black. Oh, you can very much see why they treat this as a gauntlet clone. Now, are those generators as well? Are they actually creating things that the monsters spawn out of? Boy. Let's get rid of these guys over here. It must be generators. It's exactly like Gauntlet, because I've killed all of... Well, I've destroyed all of the things, and they're still... Right, now I've got a key. And up there are some doors. Yes, there we go. I had a feeling actually that that was only going to be. Did I just shoot that food? Um, I had a feeling that was that was going to be just the, the entire length of that level was the thing down the road. Um, oh God, this is so like Gauntlet, but not as good. Um, in fact, I, I swear it was laid out the 
same as well. Okay, I did want to hang around on that level a little bit longer, but um, then it can be straight into level 2. Uh, how am I doing for strength? Well, it's slowly dropping just by lure of me walking around. So I'm going to 7540. I wonder what's going to run out first in my 10 minutes that I always give myself videos. Or my health. Okay, so I've got a key. Oh, that looks... I've got no magic at all. Alright, okay. Where do I feel safest running into? Well, to be honest, I feel safest running away. What? Okay, let's go in there. Okay, let's... Okay, let's... Balls! Good. Oh, I think I might have made a tactical bad choice. Run away! Right, hopefully they'll just stick to the walls and that. Okay. Right, let's go in there. What a goodness. No! I, it, it, it sort of feels a bit like all of these monsters, all of these creatures do the same thing. They just gang up on you and attack you. It's not like Gauntlet where you have things like the sorcerers, where they would just randomly appear and disappear. You can go away. Um, or the mobbers who would throw things at you. I mean, these guys look like the mobbers. Whoa, okay, lots of them. So there's the answer to the question. I will die before my time runs out. Oh, and it's got... Uh, yeah, my name's Gugigio. Right. Okay. Back into it. Oh, there is a password system there. Don't suppose I know what the password is? Oh, okay. Right. Yep, let's just dive straight back into it. I'm just going to go... I'm not going to go up there, I'm going to run straight from the doorway that I saw. Um, played it just now. Okay, run past the wall. So you start off with 10,000 health. Right. Oh, hang on. So it's dumped me into the same level. It used to be that you could advance on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Because the gauntlet, if you fought your way further in the first level, um, you'd be able to get a doorway that took you all the way to the eighth stage. Exit to this level. I've been in every room, and you know, let's face it, there's only four of them. Oh, there's the stairway. I was actually in the right room to begin with. Um, so it's here. So, charge! Just running straight to the doorway. There we go. Um. Um. Oh. Bomber man it ain't. It's trying to be though. Very interesting choice of <laughs> room. Um, it felt a bit gauntlet mixed with Big Dad. Um, okay, do I have a key? Which one do I want to open first? Hmm, oh, I don't have a key. That's nice. So now what do I do? That looks like a way out of there, actually. Oh, hello, boys. Right. That doesn't look healthy down the bottom. Oh, you are kidding me. There's nothing there. Unless... Okay. 
I need more confused now. I realise that this video series should really be called Jeff Gets Confused by old games. Um, but I promise you I know my way around spectrum games. It's just that I'm not that experienced with games that are traditionally, well, traditionally, that were badly reviewed because, well, you know, they were badly reviewed. I'll get it better for music. Okay, so there's nothing there. There's nothing in here. I've got to go down there, haven't I? But I can't destroy it. Oh, yes, I can. Why? Okay, they don't look very nice. Go away! Oh, this regenerates! I'm just gonna go straight down, collect lots of treasure. I think I'm gonna go more with crashes. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna go more with crashes um, review number on this, uh, which they gave as um, forty-five percent. Didn't actually look at the review for it, um, but um, yeah, I can sort of understand the two out of ten that your Sinclair gave it. Forty-five um, percent. No, I th I think that's gen I think that's too generous for it. It seems insanely difficult. Uh, if I did go back to that game, I'd probably be looking for pokes um, to see if I could actually get anywhere in it. Um, it's it's very inspired by Gauntlet. It's very inspired by uh, Eagle's Nest and lots of the games from that sort of era. Just not as good. Sorry, guys. Um, Thank you, Codemasters, who normally give uh, normally gave us fantastic games, um, but that one wasn't one of them. Anyway, I, I should be back next week, giving you uh, another crap Spectrum game from back in the day. Um, will I actually agree it's crap or not? Uh, tune in next week to find out. This one very much was crap. See you next week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way. Bye-bye.